<laughs> Good Sunday morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 near Lano, Texas and here the bird. <laughs> he sounds like he's right on the roof. But anyway, it's a nice day here in Lano, Texas, I guess. It's a uh, little cloudy. It was sprinkling rain, but it's just temporary. And here's something that a viewer sent me yesterday. I think it came from Slack Pack Hiker. It's a goat. <coughs> it's a screaming goat. <laughs> <coughs> you like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, you get all kinds of things. I've got a screaming goat now. But anyway, I'm still alive in my 2019 Casita 17-footer, 84 square feet of perfect harmony. I like it here. And I've uh, been a long-time, full-time RVer, and I may build me a sticks and bricks and have me an RV too. How about that? Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, the day before tomorrow, right now. Bird's my competition this morning. I've got the vent open. He's right there. I mean, right up there. Anyway, uh, what else? Hey, Google. What's the temperature in uh, Bangor, Maine? In Bangor right now, it's 62 degrees. With a high of 81. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In Butte right now, it's 45 degrees. With a high of 55. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The current temperature in Fairbanks is 55 degrees. With a high of 65. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Lano, Texas? The current temperature in Lano is 77 degrees. With a high of 89. But that's and that's not bad actually. That, that's a little warm for a morning, but it's uh, afternoon's going to be okay. And I may do a triking video today. Depends if it's mist and rain or something. I probably won't, but I'll come up with something. You can bet on that. <laughs> anyway, hey Google, tell us a joke. What does a nosy pepper do? It gets jalapeno business. Yep, that's really funny, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, this is Trenton Clump, a grin in it. Tweety Bird. This is uh, Teddy Bear with my name on it. Popeye and Olive Oil from the old Popeye cartoons, Betty Boop from the 1930s, Mr. Bill from the 1970s, and a sticker behind them that says native Texan with a jalapeno on it. That's a million dollar bill, a thousand yen note, a five euro note, a two dollar bill, and this is Gumby from the 1950s, and this is Mr. Bo Jangles, got a string he pull, and there's some bananas getting older every day. And then those are olive oil's bras, two of them. And this is a smiling face with nose, ears, and hair that I added. And a sticker that says, life is better in a casita. Is it? It is for me, guys. And uh, it'll continue to be that way, I think, for quite a while. <clears throat> because, yeah, my whole change depends on, on get, getting hooked up to the city water. And I'm not sure they're going to let me do that. But I, and why is... They have a reason, and it's reasonably legitimate, and I'll just have to live with it. So having said that, Sheila Graham says, lots of ads. That was on the solo woman traveling in a small trailer. Well, Sheila, that's how I get money, honey. And uh, you don't have to watch them. You can skip them if you want to. Uh, Spanish Angel. Uh, this is on the tiny home park model thing I did. It says, bat it says bathhouse. Does your RV park have a bathhouse no it doesn't uh, there are uh, showers at the city park though you can use if whenever they're unlocked this is jank bomb the government can no we'll skip that one uh, Sean Martin Enterprise Super Center in Austin and Giddings or even Giddings it says they turn Durkin storage buildings into cabins Good luck, old buddy. Yeah, that, that's kind of what the, all of them are, basically. <clears throat> they're, they're, they're pretty well constructed, though. You know, you, but anyway, we'll see what we get when we get it. Thank you, Sean. Uh, this is Amra Lewiston. Good plan. Thank you. Oh, that was on the tiny home. Well, it is a plan. Of whether it's a good one or not, we're fixing to find out. <clears throat> this is on the tiny home park model stuff. Uh, Gene Cole. Rusty, you're not living... 
on your right now. We all need a change sometimes. You're not living on your right now. Oh, right now. We all need a change sometimes. I'm trying to sell my house. I bought a little, bought a little house when I got divorced. But anyway, good luck to you, Jean. Thank you. Says she wants a simple life. Well, everybody does, and the hardest thing you'll have, the hardest thing you'll ever do is try to live a simple life. I guarantee you. Uh, this is uh, Libby Olson on building a tiny home. Great looking lots. Even if you never develop it, it will be a great investment. Yeah, that's the way I look at it too, Libby. A great opportunity that you grab. We bought five acres years ago and still haven't done anything with it. Figured we'd sell it to buy an RV and truck to go traveling in in our retirement years. This The land has increased by a great amount. And that cabin, love it. It is so you. Yeah. It's just that I can't get the people to call me back. I hope he calls back tomorrow because I've scheduled an appointment with another dealer in Kerrville, Texas on Tuesday morning, and I'm hoping I can do Fredericksburg at the same time. Thank you, Libby. Uh, this is a tiny home. Test by test, fire test. How about buying a shed? Well, you know, you can buy anything you want but if it doesn't meet city codes, then you've just, you can't even put it on your lot. You see what I mean? So what I have to do is find out what, find the people that make these things, have them contact the city, the uh, ordinance officer or whatever they call him, or compliance officer. And, uh, and if they can get by him and, and verify that with me in writing, then yeah, we're good to go so that I don't get a building delivered and then have to haul it off. You know what I mean? they got a lot of rules, guys. And, and I have to say this about the rules. I've mentioned it in other videos. The rules just protect the buyer. You know, it's all about how well it's constructed, the electrical, the plumbing, and all that stuff, and structure. And uh, so, you know, they're, the city's just protecting the people that are building homes. That's all. Uh, Ray Sov, Sova, just south of Bandera, Texas, there are tiny houses for sale on Highway 173 south of the Medina River Bridge. They're made to order. The man can finish the house if you want, lowest, low price. Yeah, you know, the, the prices uh, are not that much different, okay, uh, for the base unit. Because the lumber, they all have to buy lumber. They all have to put it together, and they all have plumbing and electric, and all those prices are pretty much the same. And there's, so there's not going to be much, if there is a big difference, one's much lower than another one, there's a real reason. Uh, Scarlett Henderson General Shelters in, is in Texas. Check them out. The Crockers on YouTube showed one looks amazingly built. Quite, so it's built pretty good. Okay, well, I'll check it out, Scarlett. Thank you. This is Susan Boggs. Love the beautiful trees lining your trailer. Yeah, those uh, crepe myrtles out there. Yeah, they got beautiful blooms. They're messy as hell. They get all over your vehicle. You know, if you leave the window down, they'll get all over the inside. Uh, this is on mail call, Lisa Cars Caron. Uh, goats or, or rumin ruminants or whatever, like cattle, and have four compartments of one stomach. So that's, that's interesting. <laughs> she said the magic word, goats. Anyway, Joyce Barnett on comment call. I wonder how many... Uh, Oh, it says, wonder how many diseases will be caused by wearing the mask. I don't know. I'm, I'm out of that one, man. That one, that's old news to me. But I thank you for your comment. Jamie Macon, I love that screaming goat, but my cats weren't as thrilled, LOL. And you're right that nobody wants to work so much. Uh, no, I don't want to work either, to tell you the truth. Uh, Cynthia Weathers on the tiny home. I didn't see anything wrong with the setup you had. Uh, a nice new casita tucked under the pavilion, your own property, I assume, paid for. I would have stayed there. Well, you do you, Cynthia, and I do me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I sold it, to tell you the truth. I, I'm glad I'm out here. I'm glad I'm out here in the world doing something instead of sitting under that canopy right now uh, trying to figure out what to do. Now i got something to do. Paul W. on the casita. This is a long time ago. OMG, I went to casita to look at their models and scraped my head when entering the first one. I even saw 
this video prior. Great review, Rusty. Yeah, the, the inside's only six feet one and a half inches high, and that's not really correct. There's a few things that are a little lower than that, but it still works for me. I mean, it, you know, you got to learn how to live in a casita, I'll tell you that. Uh, this is on mail call, Sunflower 555 USA, USA Texas. Uh, this may be your best mail call ever. Love the goat. Well, <laughs> said the magic word. <laughs> Laughter is the great, great medicine. Yeah, I'm just having fun, guys. You know, a lot of people give me a thumbs down because they think it's nutty. I, well, never mind. George Ann Maloney. <clears throat> That was on the little cabin. Such a nice cabin. That will be so nice for you. Wishing you the best. Take care. Yeah, the, the, my first choice uh, would be the one in Fredericksburg, made out of Fredericksburg, I think. Uh, but I, I'm not having much luck contacting them. Now, the one I'm looking at on Tuesday in, in, uh, in Kerrville is very similar, but it, it, uh, it, it's just a little different. Uh, anyway, uh, George Ann Maloney... Such a nice cabin. That will be so nice for you. Wishing you the best. Take care. Thank you. Bruce Meacham on mail call. Looks to me that your missing mini travel trailer is to the rear of the Tweety Bird. And it, is it in there? Yeah, it is. It fell back in there. He saw it. <laughs> yeah, I see it now. I'll have to dig it out. And I'll have to, well, I don't have any room to put it there, though. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I'm glad you spotted it, Bruce. Uh, anyway, Kevin McInturf, uh, I just bought some land out there in Deming, just a couple of miles from that park. Yeah, that you know that's a nice area. And if you get it, the closer you get to the park, and when you're going towards the park there near Deming, you kind of go up in the elevation, so it might be a little bit cooler. Yeah, that's a that's a nice area. Uh, good luck to you, Kevin. Winter Callaway. We just got park model built and delivered to our little property in Kingsland. Okay, very good. And we're very happy still finishing utilities set up, but it's almost done one week or two. Same person, though you are correct, it's around 60,000. See, that, that's true. And, and yeah, yeah, but th those are, you know, those are regular little homes is what they are. But good luck to you, Winter. I may drive over there one day and check it out. Uh, shoot me a... Uh, email to rusty78609 at yahoo.com. I'll drive over one day and, and do a video so we can show the, the rest of Rusty's Rangers what you got with your uh, park model. Thank you, winner. Uh, this is uh, Javier Alvarez. Thank you, Rusty. I watch your videos every day. Well, I appreciate that, Javier. You, 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 uh, you're okay, though, huh? <laughs> You're, you're not in a home somewhere, right? Uh, anyway, are you, anyway, JJoy7, I come to mail call and receive what I expected. Laughs and giggles. Thanks. Well, you know, I don't know about the laughs and giggles. I just read what's here and work with it. Uh, this is a mail call. Sammy G, very nice of, of your viewers. Stock up on beer and pizza for the big birthday party. Three quarters of a century old. Go, Rusty, go. Well, you know, you could put it another way. I mean, three quarters of a century, yo. <laughs> anyway, this is on mail. Oh, I got that one. Anyway, uh, uh, Tina Rawls. This is on the tiny home. It says it's nice. Thank you. Jim 19, J. Jim 1971 says, check out this tiny house builder in Tennessee, the best. He left a link. Yeah, you know, those are nice. And a lot of those people do shipping. But, you know, you got to know that Shipping a tiny home is going to cost a fortune, okay? But be that as it may. Thank you, Jim. I'll check it out. Sure I will, because I, I might get some ideas. Uh, comment call. This is Sam Buchanan. Hey, Rusty. Be very careful when you either set off the alarm. <laughs> be careful. Be careful. Be very careful when you either set off the alarm on the space station and men in black suits will come pick you up and put you away in area 51 and nobody will ever see you again rusty's range will be lost yeah well you know that's true you know they knock on the door and they have a long sleeve shirt and an m16 that's not a good sign it's hard to get this thing to to load out here here we go this is wayman samang 
The dust is horrible at Canyon Lake today. Well, it'll just be a couple of days. It'll be out of here. Yeah, we had it yesterday too, but this morning it's sprinkling rain, so that'll clean it out a little bit. This is Mail Call M Lane. Cute screaming goat. I like it. Well, I do too. Goat. <laughs> I like that. Every time somebody says goat, I'll do it. Anyway, Lance Revel. The the card image is a 1957 Chevy, not a Cadillac. Oh, okay. Well, I was close. I knew it was a car. <laughs> I got part of it. Anyway, JB, he says, yawn, yawn, living in an RV park. I, that's kind of a left-handed compliment, isn't it, JB? Well, JB, you know what I'm going to do to you? I'm going to feed you to Matilda. you you got to come up with better stuff than that. Matilda, here comes one again. Here comes a little snack. I didn't eliminate him. I just put him in a trash can. Suzanne Hoffman, uh, after you feed Matilda, see this fit right in. Hit that screaming goat button. God darn, here we go, baby. <laughs> oh, goat's going to get hoarse. <laughs> you and all of Rusty's Rangers are the best of the best. Yeah, we do pretty good here. We got a good group. Uh, it said, here we go. Cool screaming goat, Rusty. <laughs> I'll run the battery down first day. Uh, anyway, Hope Tondelli. Rusty stay put in the R RV park for now as long as, you, as long as you're comfortable and can afford to stay there. You don't have to do anything right now. Do some more thinking about the best way to go. You got the lots. Yeah. You know, I, you're, I mean, I know that. I've got plenty of time. And, and you know, this thing's not going to happen for six months or more anyway, probably. And, uh, but I want to get, you know, I want to find out, you know, what you, to find out sometimes what I want, I find out what I don't want. In other words, I, I start looking at these things closer and closer and closer. And, you know, whenever you put something under a microscope, you find a lot of defects that you didn't see with the telescope. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> we're at that phase right now. But thank you, Hope. You're, you're, you're right, Hope Tondelli. This is uh, Sierra Graves. Rusty, you will work it all out. That's true. We'll do about three or four more here, and then we'll shut her down. Uh, we'll do three more. Nettie Holmes. Rusty, my birthday is June 30th. Sweet 60 years old. Well, happy birthday, Nettie Holmes, June 30th. Thank you for your comments. Uh, CR on the tiny home. Love the park models. I just saw one with green shed roofs. Very cool and front porch in a mobile park in the Redwoods. I lo love the idea. Love that idea. Shoot, if the cabin people are not calling you, boy, you are right what kind of head headache would it be to work with them yeah that's true but see what it is love your love your adventure thanks for taking us along what it is they're, they're just really busy and you know they got one guy and the hardest thing to do in a small business is to start adding management because you feel like you're the only one that can run it and you don't want to add it a number two man even though you need a number two and a number three because but it because it comes right out of your pocket so that's kind of where they are and i understand this is on Tiny Home Gale Resources. Options. I can tell you having options is a wonderful thing. I've worked hard in the midst of many obstacles to be able to be able to have options. Now I'm pulling the trigger. Grateful. Good for you, Gale Resources. Top speed 350. The GOAT greatest of all time. Yep, well that we'll end with that one. The GOAT. <laughs> That's cute, isn't it? Crazy thing. Yeah, you just push the little button. It's got a battery underneath here. Yeah, pretty neat. Anyway, thanks again for the goat. But anyway, guys, from uh, Lano, Texas, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Carpe diem means seize the day. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. You just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you want. And then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. You know what I mean? So, yeah, and the only way to really lose weight, guys, is eat less. I hate to tell you. I know it, and it's hard to do. And then uh, what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Uh, do that several times a day. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? 
lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Sure it is. You bet it is. And then what else? Uh, stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, 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 exercise your body once or twice a day, every day. Why? Well, because you'll feel better immediately and you may live healthier longer. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness, all those little neurons up in there are forming neural links and your thoughts and your memories and all that stuff so put in good ingredients you know and, and they don't you know you got to avoid the news I, I you know I, at least i do you do what you do i do me you do you okay but having said that guys accentuate the positive eliminate the negative and enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time and uh yeah uh just keep it going guys and uh, you know just be like that old goat hard-headed like an old goat but be that as it may, I'll do some kind. I may do a tracking video. If not, I'll come up with something else, and we'll just keep it going. Boom, 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 boom. Adios, amigos. Till next time. Bye, bye. Enjoy your day, Sunday.